Army of Thieves is a 2021 heist comedy film directed by Matthias Schweigerfa. In this prequel to Army of the Dead, a mysterious woman recruits bank teller Dieter to assist in a heist of impossible to crack safes across Europe. The movie begins with Sebastian, a polite bank teller in Potsdam, Germany. Although he has a significant passion for safe cracking, he feels confined in his mundane and dull daily routine. He is right now making a video for his brand new YouTube account. In the video, he tells a fascinating story about Hans Wagner, an esteemed locksmith who created a set of four safes that were named after and influenced by the four operas in the Ring Cycle. The Rheingold, Valkyrie, Siegfried, and Gotthard Dameron are the four operas. It seems that Wagner created these safes so that if someone tried to pry them open, whatever was inside would be destroyed. He locked himself inside the final safe after it was finished. Despite their best efforts, Wagner's teammates were unable to release him, and he passed away in the safe. His ultimate resting place was the safe that was cast into the water. There are still some unconfirmed stories floating around today regarding the disappearance of the first three vaults. It continues to be one of the biggest enigmas in human history. Sebastian posts the video to his YouTube channel with this conclusion. But it turns out that no one is watching it. He is an expert lock picker, but he hasn't yet figured out YouTube's protocol. He closes his laptop in frustration and gets ready for another shift at the office. Later, Sebastian learns about a sudden zombie outbreak in America while assisting an irate customer in the bank. The individual he is assisting exhibits zombie-like conduct at the same time, so he immediately complies with her plea and dismisses her. He gets his first views and comments on his most recent YouTube video from an unknown source during his lunch break. He receives an invitation from the stranger to demonstrate his abilities at a certain spot, along with an address and a password for admittance. Sebastian chooses to go to the specified location at the scheduled time after becoming intrigued. When he gets there, he runs into a security guard who lets him in after verifying the password. He finds himself in a safe-cracking contest when he enters the shadowy warehouse, where he gets recognized as the seventh competitor. Though first perplexed, he wins the match after dominating every round. He observes a stunning woman named Gwendolyn smiling at him while the crowd applauds for him. Gwendolyn turns out to be a prominent thief who got her start in crime at the young age of six. She possesses the speed and agility to steal jewelry and other priceless goods. The next day, as Sebastian goes about his customary business, Gwendolyn abruptly enters his path. She admits that she was the one who left a remark on his YouTube video while they converse over a cup of coffee. She then announces her intention to rob the three safes that Wagner created without wasting any time. Because of his unmatched expertise in Wagner's work, she wants him to join her team as the safe cracking. She continues by informing them that they only have 96 hours before the safes are shut down. He is shocked at hearing all of this, but she reassures him that this is the ideal chance for him to get out of his monotonous life. She gives him her business card before leaving the cafe, though. Sebastian spends hours contemplating the agreement at night. He believes the idea to be excessively risky, but he also wants to experience the rush that comes with breaking the law. He ultimately chooses to pursue the latter course of action. So he makes his way to the given address. When he arrives, Gwendolyn presents him to the rest of the team, which consists of the gunman, Brad Cage, the brilliant hacker Karina Dominguez, and the getaway driver, Rolf. The team then immediately starts to work, and Karina gives details about the safes, stating that all three are owned by a wealthy man named Bly Tanaka and are situated in various locations around the globe. The group starts their first robbery in Paris with the Rheingold safe as their objective because they don't have time to waste. The scenario then changes to depict the actual heist as it was planned. The first one into the bank, Sebastian slips into the ladies' room and hides. The next person to arrive is Gwendolyn, who asks to use the locker with a fake name. Then Karina enters to create a distraction and divert the staff's focus away from Gwendolyn. Taking advantage of the opportunity, Gwendolyn drags Sebastian out of concealment and the two of them proceed to the Rheingold safe. Sebastian is in wonder when he first sees the fabled safe, and he spends some time conversing with it. However, once he is finished, he quickly and deftly starts working on the lock and unlocks it. After a brief moment of joy, they start to collect the cash, and Sebastian worries about carrying such a large sum. He is reminded by Gwendolyn that their goal is to get into the impregnable Wagner safe to become famous, not just to accumulate cash. Brad finally causes one last diversion inside the bank, enabling Sebastian to leave with the cash. Sebastian gains renewed confidence after the victory surgery and experiences value for the first time in his life. 
the French Interpol officers have gathered for a meeting in the scene that follows, and an agent by the name of Delacroix is going over the specifics of the Rheingold robbery. It turns out that after years of intense pursuit by Delacroix, Brad and Gwendolyn have managed to avoid capture. Delacroix almost caught Brad in their most recent encounter, but the latter shot him before running away. Delacroix understands that the crew has a new safe cracker and is planning to break into the two remaining safes, giving him and his team two more opportunities to capture them. The group is jubilantly celebrating their first successful heist at their hideout in the meantime. During the celebration, Karina comes near Sebastian and asks him to make out with her. Sebastian declines, saying that Gwendolyn is the only person he is interested in. When Karina hears this, she gets a little envious and says that Gwendolyn is dating Brad but they're currently having trouble. Later that evening, Sebastian approaches Gwendolyn and strikes up a conversation that encourages them to discuss their pasts. While Gwendolyn describes her conflicts with her affluent family and her subsequent determination to live alone, he describes how his attraction to safe cracking put him apart from the other kids in his community. Unfortunately, Brad is really upset when he sees them together. The crew travels to Prague the following day for their second robbery, targeting the Valkyrie, but they are unaware that Delacroix and his team are already there and are putting in place tighter protection. After practicing their strategy, Sebastian enters the bank pretending to be a false employee, and Karina opens the way for him by breaking into the banking system. He is then led to the vault while being attentively watched by Gwendolyn. The moment Sebastian vanishes from the cameras, the security guards start to become uneasy. But when they come up against them close to the lift, Gwendolyn expertly dispatches them with her powerful martial techniques. Following this, the two move in the direction of the safe and prepare to open it. Delacroix is unable to identify the specific problem, but he is aware that something is wrong. He chooses to visit the bank after getting captivated by his intuition. He is shocked to learn that the safe does not hold the Valkyrie safe when he opens it. The bank manager responds to his urgent inquiry by explaining that the Valkyrie had been moved to another bank for security. Delacroix and his squad leave no time to waste as they jump into their cars and head out to find the burglars. However, the security guard who observed anomalies in the CCTV footage activates the security system, causing all bank entries to be closed. This forces the team to use Plan B, so Brad pretends to be a masked robber and breaks into the building, tranquilizing the guards using tranquilizers to buy Sebastian and Gwendolyn some extra time. When a bank guard notices the ruckus, the alarm is set off, notifying the authorities, and the area is sealed off. Despite a few hiccups, Sebastian can effectively crack the Valkyrie in the midst of all of this. He gives Gwendolyn a close hug and almost a kiss, overcomes with joy at his accomplishment. Karina's radio message, which requests that they give a status update so that Brad can leave the bank, interrupts their private time. Brad prepares to leave after giving the all-clear, but a guard shoots him in the shoulder. He nonetheless succeeds in escaping through a window and travels to Rolf and Karina in the getaway vehicle. Just as Delacroix and his staff are about to arrive, Sebastian and Gwendolyn emerge from the bank shortly after. The two run towards the waiting van, where Brad reaches out and pulls Gwendolyn inside with a helping hand. But out of jealousy, he pulls Sebastian away and hands him over to the police. Then, hurriedly seizing a bicycle, he makes a break for it via the town's winding lanes and obscure nooks. He successfully makes his way onto a train and manages to avoid being apprehended, but despite his delight at getting away and his excitement over his success, he is overcome by a strong sense of betrayal. Brad and Gwendolyn are having a contentious debate inside the van in the meantime. By claiming that they had intended to leave Sebastian after the heist, he defends his behavior. Gwendolyn, who by this time had begun to like Sebastian, gets angry and resolves to get out of the van. She resists Brad's overtures and leaves as he strives to restrain her by professing his love for her. Karina soon follows and the two decide to look for Sebastian to get into the Siegfried safe. The girls are waiting for Sebastian when he gets home in the following scenario. They apologize for leaving him for dead. Gwendolyn explains that unlike the three of them who wanted to become renowned criminals recognized for breaking the Wagner safes, Ralph and Brad were only interested in making money from the theft. She suggests that they work together to attempt the Siegfried. Initially reluctant because he worries the girls will desert him once more, Sebastian finally agrees after Gwendolyn commits never leaving his side. The group then travels to St. Moritz, Switzerland, where a casino houses the Siegfried. This time, Delacroix takes a more careful approach and decides to wait until the alarms go off before approaching Gwendolyn's crew to capture them. He's eager not to give them a chance to flee like they did in the past. Delacroix and his team are forced to wait patiently for eight hours before the safe is moved from the casino to be decommissioned. 
The Delacroix crew learns that the theft is intended to take place at 5 a.m. during this period after intercepting a radio transmission between Karina and Sebastian. They carefully access the building at 5 a.m. after painstakingly buying time, only to find that the safe has been moved 90 minutes earlier. Delacroix then realizes that the safe has already been taken and that Karina purposefully disclosed their conversation to deceive his colleagues. In another location, Gwendolyn and Sebastian are traveling on a truck while the latter starts to open the safe. Ralph and Brad, on the other hand, want to rob Gwendolyn and Sebastian of their money. Outside the casino, Karina attempts to thwart them, but Delacroix and his gang encircle her. When they get back to the vehicle, Sebastian opens the safe and they begin loading the cash. However, when Brad and Ralph get there, they try to shoot Sebastian while holding the gun but it is not working. Gwendolyn pulls a gun, aiming it at Brad. Before departing with Sebastian, she commands the two to enter the truck. After that, they head to the beach, where Sebastian pops the question to her before they leave. Delacroix, on the other hand, shows up and points his gun at the two. However, Gwendolyn pulls a revolver and refuses to give up. If he lets Sebastian escape, she begs him for her surrender. Delacroix gives her the go. With a sad heart, Sebastian boards the boat and heads out. The scene changes to a later time when Sebastian is employed as a locksmith at Gwendolyn, his store. He is one day approached in the store by a guy and a woman who invited him to join their squad for the ultimate robbery. To them, Sebastian only grinned. There, the film finishes. If you like our video kindly subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss our new video and also leave a comment. It encourages us for making more content. Thanks.